Hey everyone, Talking Tommy coming at you from Halifax, West Yorkshire. Hope you're all doing all right. The housekeeping is a Blake Mar aristocrat. I can't remember the name, man. For some reason. It's very similar to my club pipe that I showed in the previous video, a couple of videos back. Except this one isn't a filter pipe, unfortunately. And it's not a club pipe either. But nonetheless, it's a very nice pipe made by Blake Mar Briars, who makes some excellent pipes and they're very, very affordable. made in the UK um, yeah really good really good pipe really impressed with it on the website it's called the Moffat which I've never heard that um, name being used for a shape before it's not a shape I've ever heard of I mean to me it's more of a curved road easier really but it's semi rusticated it's pretty nice so, um, purpose of this video, thought I would do um, a quick video where I uh, show you my recent uh, acquisitions of pipes. This is this being one of them. Um, there's going to be some more, and I will also show you my tobacco seller. I'm not going to show you the pantry because it's a fucking mess, but. show you my unopened tins um, so yeah um, so I'm going to show you those in a moment I'll, I'll cut to the bedroom where I'll show you those um, oh uh, I'm currently smoking actually here is some I got currently smoking some punch bowl which is like a Balkan or an English whatever you want to call it you know a lot of gear blend it's not too bad it's not um it's not spectacular it's not gonna set you all the line it's alright boy it's okay I've certainly smoked worse so okay, it's not too bad. Anyway, to the acquisitions. How do 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 me again? Um, so I'm going to show you my recent acquisitions and a look at my current tobacco seller. Uh, the seller is just the sealed tins. It's not the loose pouches and things like that. Um, this is all stuff that I am specifically aging. First of all, I'll show you the pipes I've recently acquired. This one is a lovely poker, which I acquired from Bubba J Vegas. Where's the... Uh, there we go. There's the maker's mark. But yeah, Bubba J Vegas of Cobbs and Cubans. Brilliant draw on it, excellent pipe. So yeah, um, I bought this off him in person. We both went to the uh, Nottingham Pipe Show this year with a uh, fireman uh, from his videos, Paul. Um, so yeah, I bought it off him in person and he is a true craftsman, he really is. Um, I'll put a link to his channel. Uh, the other pipes I received, um, this uh, Peterson Killarney, it's a black Killarney, ATS, uh, it's a filter, it's a P-Lip 2, which um, I'm not wild about, especially with a filter, it makes the drawer a bit, <gasps> you know, but um, no, it's a beautiful little pipe. I'm still breaking it in, I'm trying to take it easy because I know Petersons can be very temperamental if they are coated. I also got this Peterson uh, which is a 
Jekyll and Hyde, which I have yet to smoke. But I wanted one of these since I first saw they were introducing them. I love the, uh, the differing styles, the two tone. But um, yeah, quite like this. Still to uh, still to break it in. Um, I've not smoked anything in it yet. A Dunhill panel billiard with a saddle stem. Now, I wasn't going to buy this pipe originally, but um, my friend was selling it and he put it on eBay, it didn't sell, he relisted it, it didn't sell, so he knew I was interested in it, he approached me and offered me a discounted price, um, which I checked my financial situation and then said, Go on then, why not? So yeah, lovely, lovely and light. What I find with Dunhills is, it's so light, they're really nice. This one is a Boots Shokan, um, sort of ladies opera pipe, sort of mini church warden type thing, which uh, I got off eBay. Um, it was the opening bid as well. No one, no one must have uh, noticed it because I got it ridiculously cheap. I got it for like ten pounds, something like that. Ten quid, crazy cheap. It's got a very small bowl, but I think it will be good for flakes as it is um, conical, sort of a tapered bowl. My Molina, which I bought from. The Bear Shop in Cardiff still smokes great. I love the shape, bent doubling, and I seem to have a bit of a thing for black pipes at the moment. I keep acquiring them. It just feels nice in my hand, you know. It's just a really nice pipe. It's kind of like a dress pipe, actually. I might use it for just like nights out and things. It's pretty good. Um, and last but not least, I bought this Mearsham. Uh, sort of calabash style, it's only a little pipe. I like the acrylic stem, I've only smoked it once. Um, first time I've had a virgin mirror, so see how the colour develops on it. Now I'll quickly show you my cellar, which is actually uh, overflowing a bit. I keep my tobacco in this lockbox, which you know now can't be locked. Um, I need to buy something bigger really, which I will do in the coming months, I'm going to buy something more suitable. Most recent tobaccos I've got in here, uh, Sam Garwith's Cabbage Mixture, I've not tried it yet, it's pretty new as far as I'm aware, I don't think it's been on the market very long. Uh, a tin of Sam Garwith's Best Brown Flake. Um, again, never tried it. I've heard people say great things about it. Apparently, special flake number two is essentially brown flake with um, added essences. Next up, uh, a tin of Peterson Sherlock Holmes. Again, I haven't ever smoked this before. Um, it's just a Virginia Burley mix, as far as I'm aware. So, you know. I would imagine it's uh, pretty nice, but some people, yeah, I've heard mixed things. Um, but yeah, sealed tin there. Sam Gar with uh, Skiff mixture, which uh, again I also picked up at the bear shop. Um, again, never tried it, but you know, <laughs> I'm aging it nonetheless because I've got too many things up. I mean, this aging process it could last um, years. It could last, you know, weeks. It depends how long it takes me to get through the open stuff I've got. Dunhill Free uh, Matured Virginia, recently reintroduced. Thought, yeah, why not? Give that a go. Capstan Flake, um, which um, Scanner Darkly got me from his whole day in Spain. In of Parsons Pleasure, which I am um, led to believe uh, is um, discontinued, but it's still knocking about in most shops. So I've been picking up 
pot, pick up a tin before it goes completely. One of my favourite tobaccos ever, Dornhill Deluxe Navy Rolls. Um, never um, opened this, I have smoked it before, I really 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 like it. Um, I was advised by someone that give it two years and it's pretty fucking good. A tin of Balkan Sassini, I think that's how it's pronounced, Sassini, Sassini, eh. Two tins of Orlick Bullseye, which has been discontinued, but I saw them in a shop near my house. Well, I'll say near my house, it's not really near my house at all. It's like two towns away, but I saw it and I knew it was discontinued. And I know I like it, so I thought, yes, grab it while you can. So I bought both tins. So, yeah. So that is the tobacco seller so far. Um, like I say, I need a much bigger storage case really because it just doesn't shut. So yeah. There you have it. Those are my recent acquisitions pipelines. I can't imagine there's going to be too many more before the year's out. <coughs> However, we'll see what the money fairy brings. You never know. There could be a few more. I don't know yet. There's some I've got my eye on. There's one in particular I really want to get. Um, but I will see. I'll see what I can afford. Um, tobacco wise, that's just going to expand continuously, really. There's no point lying to myself and to you guys as well. Anyway. Thanks for watching, please feel free to like, subscribe and yada 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 all that, comment, whatever, you know, have yourselves a great evening and I will catch you all later, take it easy.